Behind the Shades. My name is Nikki from Ingen Scheno. I am originally Dutch. I live in Amsterdam right now, um, but I've lived in Tokyo for the past 10 years. Um, in 2011, I moved to Tokyo with my then husband, um, who is Japanese, um, but he grew up in uh, the Netherlands and he told me after we've been living together for five years that it was his dream to live and work for two, three years in Japan. And uh, whether I wanted to come to, and I said, yeah, sure, see if you can find a job and didn't really pay much attention after that. And then he found a job and I thought, oh, two, three years. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I can always um, put my career on hold for a bit. And uh, I'm sure, you know, Tokyo, New York, London, Paris, Sydney. It's one of those international cities, so everyone will speak English and it'll be fine. My English isn't bad, so I'm sure I'll find a job. Um, so I didn't really do much research and then I came there and it was miserable because everywhere I went, it was like, oh, so you're fluent in Japanese, right? Uh, not exactly. So yeah, I, I thought, oh, I'll just study Japanese for two years or one year even, and then I'll be fluent and I can get a job. So two years in, I still wasn't fluent and I was having a bitch session with a friend of mine who came over from Amsterdam and she said, uh, why don't you start your own business? And I was like, uh, like what? And she said, yeah, just become a tour guide. I mean, you know a lot about Tokyo, you know, all the best places to go, you're knowledgeable about Japan, you have first-hand knowledge about what it's like to live with Japanese people, so why don't you do that? Uh, so at first I was a bit apprehensive, like, oh, it's never going to work, how am I going to do that? And uh, she said, well, why don't you just create a website and an email address, send me the details, and I'll take care of the rest. So I thought, oh, this is one of those cases where people are like, oh, yeah, I'll definitely help you. And then you never hear from them again. Uh, but just in case, I created the website and the email address and I sent everything to her. And then uh, after a week, I got my first email. Someone wrote to me like, oh, yeah, I see that you do guided tours. I would like to book a tour with you. So I literally fell off my chair like, oh, my God, I wasn't expecting that. And uh, yeah, it started off strong. Uh, I immediately was very busy right from the start. And then three months in, someone asked me, would you consider hiring me? So I was like, uh, no, not exactly, but uh, sounds good. Why not? And yeah, I haven't looked back since. I mean, uh, um, 2020 was supposed to be the best year ever because of the Olympics and then COVID happened. So that was a bit tough. And um, in 2014, I gave birth to my daughter. Um, when I was still in Amsterdam, I wasn't sure whether I ever wanted to have kids because I thought, yeah, I'm going to have one of those lives where you have a full time job and then before you start work you have to take care of the kid and then after work and then by the time it's 10 it's already time to go to bed and you haven't done anything other than take care of your house and food and your husband and uh no time for yourself so i thought yeah i don't know if i would want that but then when i was in tokyo and my husband was working all the time i thought oh well it might be fun to have someone to talk to occasionally so uh, that's when I decided to get pregnant and give birth. So I was running the business and uh, taking care of my daughter. And um, yeah, fortunately, I was able to uh, combine the two because my husband was uh, working full time. So he was basically uh, the sole breadwinner. Everything that I earned just was for fun so it wasn't necessarily something I had to immediately earn a lot of money with so I could take things slowly and get to know the business get to know what it's like to run a business especially in a foreign country 
Um, yeah, and then COVID happened and basically everything went to shit. <laughs> and I decided, you know, enough is enough. I've been in Tokyo for 10 years. I want to go back. Um, and that's when I decided, you know, I'm I'm going to get a divorce. I'm going to go back to Amsterdam. I'm sick and tired of Japan. It's time for me to uh, focus on me for once. Um, so 2021, in the summer, I moved back to Amsterdam. And um, at first with my daughter, but after about a year, she decided she wanted to go back to Tokyo. So she's been living there uh, since last summer, approximately. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's been tough being away from my daughter and trying to start over again because... 2021, of course, my business was still down the drain, so I wasn't making any money. So I had to find some means of employment and uh, start over again, uh, get reacquainted with my friends and everything. Um, but fortunately, the border with Japan opened up last October and uh, my business, Tokyo Tours, is doing amazing. Uh, it is so great that uh, at one point I could tell my boss, uh, you know, you're a real shithead and uh, I've had enough. Bam, here's my resignation and uh, good luck with everything. So his first response was, uh, you are clearly being hysterical, so I will not accept your resignation. Uh, I'm going to give you two days to cool off and then you'll beg me for your job back. So I was like, I'd rather eat glass than beg for anything, but uh, besides the point. Um, yeah, and since January this year, I've been surviving solely off of Tokyo tours, which was super scary at first, but it's gone beyond my expectation. And uh, yeah, it's doing better than ever. So I'm super happy. Uh, the only thing missing in my life right now is uh, someone nice I can share my success with. But other than that, uh, it's been an amazing roller coaster ride. And let me add to that, that sometimes when you have your success, you want someone to share it with because you feel alone, right? Like you have all this success yeah. and you're like, I want to go out and celebrate Tokyo tours with someone. I want to say, yes. I came all this way, right? Like I went to a foreign land. I didn't know the language. I married mm -hmm. someone who at the time you probably were in love with. I have a yes. beautiful daughter with them. And now I decided to pivot, take my life somewhere else. And I'm like, hmm, I kind of miss those dinners with someone to celebrate with. Yeah, I kind of exactly. miss the companionship, right? I kind of miss that. Nick, you did a good job. Let's give you a hug and let's give you a kiss. And if it goes somewhere else, it goes somewhere else. But... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs>